Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day today. Today we're going to look at a distribution I think really flies under the radar and is quite frankly overlooked most of the time. When you talk about Arch made easy, generally you'll hear people talk about Manjaro, Garuda Linux, or even Big Linux. That's been real popular lately. And I think all three of them are good distributions. I would lean more towards Garuda or Big Linux in my personal opinion. Manjaro, with its holding back of packages, just seems to sometimes uh, affect your AUR and really cause issues that shouldn't be there. Now let's go ahead and minimize this. And when you boot into Kashi OS, you do get a OS hello screen. Some people call it a welcome screen. Some people call it a hello screen. And really, of the Arch distros or Arch spins that are out there today, I think the one with the best welcome screen is Garuda because it gives you so many tools right off the bat. This is just more or less your base hello screen. It's got a readme, release info, a wiki. It's got your forums and software right here. Get involved, development, or donate, and then you can launch your installer from right here. Now, if you do launch your installer, I do want to point out that you do have an offline or an online installation. Now, what that means is with offline, as you can see right here, this is the KDE desktop environment. Now, if you go to the online installation, you're going to get quite a few suggestions of things that you can download right from the beginning. First of all, you can choose your file system. You can get the XFS, the EXT4, the BTRFS, the F2FS, or the ZFS. You can pick whichever one of those you want. And then of course you can pick your desktop environment, which can be KDE Plasma, Cutefish, i3, GNOME, Openbox, Wayfire, XFCE, LXQT, Bspawn, Cinnamon, UQE, Hyperland, Budgie, LXDE, Mate, or Qtile. So you've got 16 different desktop environments you can choose from when you do the online installation. So I wanted to make sure I pointed that out. But it does come with the Calamares installer, like I just showed you. Now if we click offline and you go into the installation progress and you can see down here you've got welcome location keyboard partitions user summary install and finish and then when you do an online it will actually have desktops that you can pick out right there so wanted to point that out right off the bat we'll go ahead and close out of that I do like the wallpaper they have right off the bat. I don't know if they have a bunch of different ones or if you're just going to have your standard KDE. And right here it looks like when you do the install, you'll get more wallpapers. But on the live environment, you just get the one. Now it is set up for dark, I do believe. Let's see if it's set for dark mode. And it is dark. But if you go to the light mode and apply, everything lightens up, including the background. And as you can see on the bottom, it is using the floating panel. You see that it changes right there. And we will go ahead and switch that back to dark. And we will apply that. And close. And then, of course, you've got your base KDE toolbar down here. Internet, USB, sound. And then right here, you do have Alacrity as your terminal. Let's go ahead and see if we can do a NeoFetch on that. And it doesn't have NeoFetch. Let's see if they have a H top. Let's just do top. And right now, it shows that we are using about 820 megabytes of RAM. Uh, we've got 4 gigs issued to it. It's only showing 1,500 that are free, and 1,600 of that is actually buff and cached. So that's not too bad. That's pretty light for a KDE environment. And then if we come down here, you've also got the Kashi browser. And now with the Kashi browser, it's based on Firefox. And I'm not sure. I want to see if they're still using Google as their search engine and I do believe they are and yes they are using Google but you will notice if you go up here and do a search of any kind let's put in eBuzz again and this time you can search with you can pick DuckDuckGo, Google, Metagear if you want to, Wikipedia, StartPage, Cirex so you got several different search engines you can choose from right here or you can add a search engine of your own if you want to right there. That's really up to you. All you got to do is just go in there and add it if you want to. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and close out of this right here. And then we can come down here and you've got your Dolphin File Manager. 
We can go over this in depth, but everybody out there knows that Dolphin's pretty easy to use, so I'm not going to get too crazy on it. Uh, just your standard, go down here. If you want to change your icon size, you can bump that up a little bit, and it makes your icons a little bigger. And we will go down here to Settings. Let's open that up, and we will scroll down, and it doesn't have About. So let's just go to Terminal real quick. Let's open Alacrity back up. We will go to Uname-R. And we're running 6.2.7-1 Kashi OS. So Kashi has their own kernel. Now, another thing I want to point out with Kashi, let's go ahead and zip back over to their website. And I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bigger and scroll down a little bit. It does have its own kernel and it utilizes the advanced bore scheduler for enhanced performance. And it offers a variety of different scheduler options, including CFS, PDS, BMQ, and TT. So you can go through there and pretty much figure out what option you want to use and use it. And they're compiled and optimized with x86-64 version 3 and x86-64 version 4. And also Cache OS features desktop packages optimized for maximum performance with the latest LTO and x86-64 version 3 optimization techniques. Now I'm going to go ahead and close out of this and let's go ahead and close out of Alacrity. And I want to go back down here and we're going to go ahead and put in software and you get the Kashi OS package installer. Let's open that up. And right here, they make it pretty simple to install packages. Let's go ahead and maximize this. Now let's say you want to go open up audio and you go through here and just pick what you want. Audacity, Ardour, uh, let's go to browsers. Let's say you want something other than the Kashi browser. Let's go with Firefox. And you pretty much just go through here and pick everything that you would want. And once you have everything in here selected, Go ahead and come down here and click on install and it will install everything all at once and it will show you your repos right here and it will show you flat packs it says kashi os includes the repository for flat packs for the user's convenience only and is not responsible for functionality so we will go ahead and close out of that and if you come back down another thing i want to point out software wise is you do have octopi and octopi is pretty simple now, right now, it's telling me that the Pac-Man database is missing. You may need to synchronize the database. That will happen once you install it. It will give you some of the base data on a live look at it. Like if you go up here and do a search for like GIMP, it's not going to find it because the database hasn't been refreshed. But once you install it to a virtual machine, you'll be able to refresh that and be able to search for all the applications you're going to need. So you can install by Octopi, you can install with the Kashi OS package installer, or you can also use flat packs. So you have several ways to get the applications that you want. So let's come back down here and you've got all your applications here and you're not going to have an overabundance of applications. Now you do have the Cache browser, Cache Hello we've seen, you do have the Cache OS kernel manager. Now once you install it, you're going to be able to go in and switch back and forth between different kernels, especially if you run into some issues after an update or things like that, you can fix it. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And this is where your kernels will be listed right here once those are refreshed and put into the system. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. We'll come back down here, go back to all applications. And then you've got things like calculator, GR sync, installing your system, of course, Octopi we've seen, and Vim. You got your YAD, simple graphic user interface for YAD, which I really like. You can play around with this a little bit. I do recommend if you're going to play around with YAD a little bit, do it in a live environment, kind of get a feeling of it when you're making the changes and adjusting things. So that way, if you do a fresh install and have never played with YAD before and mess up, it's kind of hard to get it fixed. So that way, if you do it in a live environment, it makes it a lot easier and gives you a fallback should you make a mistake. And we will close out of that. But that is a look at the most recent version of Cache OS. Like I said, uh, Arch Distributions, Arch Spins, my go-to has always been Garuda. Big Linux is awesome as well, and Kashi OS. Uh, if I had to put them in order, I would probably go Garuda, Big, and Kashi. But they're top three. They're real close there. The reason I like Garuda is all the tools and help it gives you right out of the box. Big Linux, 
a lot the same way. Cache OS, not as much, but it's still user friendly. Cache wants to say that they want to be for the new user and for the old head as well. So whether you're an experienced Linux user or you're somebody that's brand new to it, it's really easy to use. So tell me what you think of the video. Did I miss anything or do you have something to say? Drop that in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like the channel. Likes keep me in YouTube's algorithm, which means if you found the information in this video helpful, somebody else out there might as well. And subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. As always, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.